All right, so let's go on how yung user pa nag-order. Um, paano mo siya ipaprocess? So let's 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 go into a, a scenario. Kasi mas madali nating ma-picture kung ano yung real scenario. For example, um meron siyang gustong i-order eh, kung nakita niya sa shop, kung nakita niya sa page or anywhere. So nag nagtanong siya dito, um how much po ang product one? Or for example, ang shoes, ang red shoes niyo. Okay? So, uh, kapag nag-chat ng ganyan, so you can actually kung meron kang quick reply, pwede mo siyang i-send sa kanya at kung ready na siyang mag mag uh, mag tingnan natin yung card for example uh, inquiry kung ready na siya mag order okay so pwede mo siyang ilagay actually uh, quick reply and then order yan yung isi-send niya doon sa user so ma-receive ma niya yung uh, fill up form okay so parang D uh, DJ to order kindly fill up so ito, you have to edit this. No? So, we have a best practice for this uh, later on. But for now, ganito yung kandalasa na ginagawa. So, ginagawa ng user. Just uh, copy-paste that. Okay. So, lalagay niya. Pangalan niya. Okay. Yung address niya. Block 1. Dot 1. Street. Village. Um, ba? Barangay. Barangay 1. In city, uh, province. So, ay yung address, the phone number, kung nasa, share na, ah, share naman, eight naman, naman, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, you can see, makita natin mamaya na sabi ni Pancake, ah, madami na tong phone number. So, for example, product name is red shoes, then quantity is natin isa lang. Okay? So, if na, kilik na yan, a pancake, madetect niya na may phone number. You can click that and then i-save natin siya later on. So, basically, kinakopy lang niyo So, for example, ah, may, mayroon na siyang contact na ganyan. So, you have really sa, sa um, syempre sa agent, between agent and the customer, wala mag-agree na mayroon siyang order. But, um, mostly, no, nangyayari, kapag pinrovide niya lahat yan, it's an order already. So, ang, ang mangyayari niyan is you have to create the order. So, how do you create the order from here? Just um, click mo yung sino yung order unang una, and then click mo yung new order. So new order, and then you can change their phone number here. Yung pinarawit niya, paste mo dito. So iyan yung bago yung number. Okay, for example ganyan. And then after that, um, click natin, hanapin natin yung address niya. That's the address. And then dito kasi um auto populate since uh, Philippines yan, you can actually find the city para mas madali. So for the sake of example, Cavite you can actually, you know, example uh, Metro Manila, Las Piñas, and then district, Las Piñas City, and then the village, makita mo yung mga village dito. So, order information. Ang lalabas dito dapat dito is yung um, anong, kung meron kang POS na installed, uh, ano yung mismong warehouse. So, since sa example na to is Bacor na nakalagay, so by default, Bacor yan nandyan. So, we will have to order uh, for him. For example, um, if you type or search something here, it means meron ka ng uh, sa POS na na-configure na product, but for now, for now, we will use the one-time product. It means, uh, okay, wala akong POS. Ang gagawin ko lang is pa-process ko lang order niya. So, click ko lang one-time order. For example, ano ba ito? Red shoes. And then, in quantity 1, then kung magkano red shoes, for example, 5.9. So, yan. So, makita mo ito. 5.9 ngayon yung enter natin. Enter. Product. So, uh, kung makita mo dito, meron siyang in-order doon pala. So, just... Ang gagawin ko, i-clear ko lang ito. Okay? Clear ko ito para ma-clear yung presyo. Okay? I mean, ma-clear lahat. Dapat ko ba ginawa yan? <laughs> okay. So, balik natin, no? Yung uh, village, just for the example. Sorry about that. So, yan. And then, province, Cavite. Let's say, yun nga yung number. <laughs> okay. 
kasi binago ko ginawa kong Cavite. So, district or village. Um, kare, yan. And then, product. One type product. Red shoes. One, kung makana yung product, it's, uh, yan natin, 5 by 9. Enter. So, yan na yung uh, presyo. So, depende kung may shipping fee. Uh, okay, uh, ang shipping fee natin, ito. But actually, you can program, program yung mga shipping fee automatic dun sa POS. But for now, uh, you will have to decide the shipping fee. So, mostly, ang ginagawa is, syempre, free yung shipping fee sa mga shop natin. So, you can, you know, put discount here or whatever. Okay? So, you can actually click the um, billing information. For example, uh, nagbayad siya. So, you can put here agad na kung nagbayad siya. Well, nag nakita niyo yung payment. Pwede mo agad ilagay dito yun. So, you can specify kung credit card, debit card, or cash. Okay? And then, pang transfer. But for now, for example, ah, wala pa. Ang uh, gagawin ko is, uh, for example, ito. Okay, siya ng cash. Dito ko lalagay yung cash. But for now, kapag sinave natin ito, mapaprocess yung order. Okay? So, let's let's check it out. This is really, really amazing. Click save. You can see, sabi niya, recent orders is 18. So, makikita mo dito na new. And then, yung price. Kung saan, lugar. Number niya, created time, and then new. Okay? So, let's say, uh, na-process na yung order. Or confirm na, ah, ito yung order. Tama siya, na-confirm mo na sa warehouse. Na, okay, may order siya. And then, okay. So, that order is confirmed. Click mo lang confirm. Pag click mo lang confirm, uh, magkakaroon na ngayon ng token back doon sa user. Uh, masisendan siya ngayon ng uh, confirmation, which is like this. An order confirmation. This is really cool and it will look like really, really uh, legitimate. So, it's not just, you know, order and then the order is okay yung order mo, but it will pull out the Facebook API na nandun lahat ng details. So, ang itsura niya sa subscriber is um, gano'n ito. Makita niya. Ah! This is the this is the details. Yung uh, um, address, ito yung ano po, and then payment upon delivery, COD, and all the details. And also, yung mga previous niya transaction, makikita mo rin dito. So, how cool is that? Right? So, ngayon, kung yan yung confirm, uh, sa back-end naman, sa POS naman siya uh, ipaprocess for like shipping, kung delivery, deliver na ba siya, kung at yung mga billing information. Ngayon, for example, uh, uh, tapos na siya, you can actually edit that and, um, you know, no, I mean, hindi mo pala siya i-edit kasi na-confirm na siya, but yung POS na yung uh, magpaprocess yun sa back end. Right? So also, kung comments naman siya, you can actually create um, uh, an order for them. But naturally, uh, dun lang tayo sa uh, inbox nagawa. Okay? So, but let's say, kung meron kang order and then nasa comments tayo, for example, uh, you will create an order for them dun sa comments. Okay? So, 599 then Example. So, ito yung kanyang details, blah, blah, blah. And then, shipping is zero. If we save that, okay, na 19, kanya na ba? Ano ba to? Sa inbox is order 19, but sa kanyang uh, reply is order 19. So, ah, mag magkaiba sila. Okay? So, now, if we if we want to confirm that, pag-click mo yung confirm, mag- uh, mag- Magbe-message ngayon siya dito. Yung confirm. Uh, let's see here. Refresh natin. So, dapat meron tayong makita sa comment na confirmed yung kanyang uh, transaction. Um... Here. 
Oh, I mean, it will go back to pala sa, sa PM. So, I was looking on the post, but actually, it went back. Da, dapat siya dutin sa PM. So, every every order dapat dun sa PM, but you will just have to notice na iba yung, uh, yung, uh, yung order number. Have to reset that. Then. So 19 dito, but if you filter it on comments, 19 at sa inbox. Okay, so the same 19. So, ah, so it's 18 pala kanina. I'm sorry. 18, then nagdumagdag uh, yung kanyang order na naging 19. So that's how you create order from Pancake. And the processing actually will go to doon sa POS na mismo.